Okay, so people wanted, yes, I know, it looks great. People wanted a makeup routine from me and what makeup I used and things, so I thought I'd do an Instagram TV instead of a YouTube because sometimes that's just easier. So I'm going figure skating today and then I'm going to go rock climbing with some friends afterwards. So I want my makeup to really stay, so I'm gonna do a little more than I would just on average. Um, I'm gonna put a primer on. Don't always use the same one. Um, actually, I'm gonna use my other one today. I really like the Professional by Benefit, um, but I really need more, so I've been trying to not use it. Um, so I'll put that on. It kind of like does a minimize your pores and kind of blur effect, um, but I notice it just makes my foundation go on smoother too, which is the point. So, all right. Um, so my favorite two foundations are Smashbox, Smashbox Studio Skin, which does not move. Like it is like waterproof. I go to the beach and it does not come off. I go to Disney World, it does not come off. And then Lancome's Tint Idol Ultra Wear. Um, this, both of these are like transfer resistant, so they don't come off if you touch your face and things, which I love. This one's a little yellowy for me right now, as you can even probably see. So I'm gonna skip that and go to the lighter one. Um, this one also I feel like is a little lighter coverage too, so I have to work a little harder with it, but it matches better right now. They're not cheap, so I'm not just going to go buy more. Um, I love this at Cosmetics Brush. Sometimes I use this, and sometimes I use my Beauty Blender. It kind of just depends. Um, I only just realized you're supposed to get your Beauty Blender wet. And I'm not good at getting up and doing that once I've sat down at my makeup chair. I'm like, meh. And I am by no means an expert at this or anything. This is just what I do. But as you can see, I've got a lot that I need to correct before I'm ready to leave the door. Okay, sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties and my, apparently you can't just set your phone up and hope it'll stay up right. So I had to go get my tripod for it. And I put a ring light on it to help give me a little more light because right now it's just so sunny that my makeup light's not doing much. This is interesting, I've never used like my phone. I've got my mirror behind me, but my camera's kind of in the way here, so never used my phone to do my makeup before. So I may not be looking at you guys because I'm trying to look in the mirrors to see what I'm actually doing. <laughs> this is why I don't make YouTube like makeup videos. This is so not my forte. Uh, but my face is getting much less red by the second, which is fantastic. I just love how this makeup, this foundation feels like it just feels silky. Like I have really combination skin, like it's very oily all the time, but it's also very dry, especially right now because we're in the dead of winter here. So it's like hard to figure out what to do with it. Um, so let's see, make sure this lighting is good here. Sorry. It was like washing me out if I got too close. Um, so then after that, I'll go in with concealer wherever I need it. I only just learned that you're supposed to get concealer afterwards. So my favorite ones are, I have the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. I have the Smashbox Studio Skin that goes with my foundation. But my actual favorite is a cheap drugstore one that's Maybelline. It's their Fit Me. Um, I don't know, this one I think it just glides on easier. I also have the It Cosmetics Under Eye stuff, which is good but sometimes it's just a little too um it doesn't blend as well like it especially when my skin's drier so this one blends really well even if my skin's dry which is why i want to use this one today sorry i gotta look in the mirror because i can't see what i'm trying to cover <laughs> i don't know how people do this this is hard maybe i'll have to like fast forward this for you guys my makeup maybe usually takes me about like 15, 20 minutes every day, maybe. Um, trying not to take too long today, even though I'm filming. I feel like this is more entertaining if I talk to you while I do this, but <laughs> not really a makeup YouTube person at all. <laughs> all right, just give it a little extra cover to some really red spots. The other thing I found that's really good, but it's also expensive and I just haven't bought more, um, that's good for red skin and redness is this, it, I love it, it Cosmetics, but they're expensive. 
uh, Bye Bye Redness. Um, because literally, like, the second you put just a little bit on, it's gone. But that's, like, for when I'm tan, so I'm not using that one right now. Um, this is my other favorite thing. A really, really cheap powder that I hope they never get rid of. It's Rimmel London Stay Matte. I usually wear sandstone. My mom bought me the wrong one, so I've been using this one, but it works. Um, but then I'll just, because my skin is very greasy. This also kind of helps, like, blend my foundation a little better too like it just helps blend and mattify and make everything a little more even but it also controls the oil really well so i love this powder so much so already just from when i started you guys can see my skin is a lot different so i'm gonna turn this light off so you can see too um so very different um so then after that, I'm going to put a little bit of blush on today. I usually don't do much blush. I'm not good at contouring, so I don't do a lot of that. But I have this Tarte stuff that I got for my birthday one year that's almost out. But I love it. So uh, let's see. Next, I will do my brows because I have very thin brows. I'm still using the same Anastasia pomade and a little angled eyeliner brush. Um, I've had this pomade forever. I'm pretty sure it, like, it's got to be expired. I don't know how that works, but... Uh, it's also still got a ton in it and it's waterproof so it doesn't like come off and it's expensive so I don't want to go buy more if I have plenty so I keep saying that about everything but I've learned over the years like while I will use a few drugstore pieces like the concealer and the powder that I love for the most part it is so much more worth it to get the good stuff from Sephora or Ulta than it is to use like all drugstore stuff because I can't use drugstore foundation. I have tried and tried and none of it works with my skin. Um, none of them can handle my skin and they all just come off because my skin gets so greasy and I can just like literally if I accidentally touch my skin, it's like, shoop. I don't know. So um, there's that. Um, so my brows look a little better now. Another thing they taught, they taught me, I went to Ulta and had them try and show me. I'm like, my brows are just kind of in. She's like, no, they're great. But like if you put, I'll put like light eyeshadow right underneath she said if you put concealer right underneath and above too that helps like pull them out I love this little palette from Tarte it's Tarte's Tees Tartlet Tees palette I love it um I use this almost every day clearly because my favorite color first kiss is about out but um so then another it cosmetics thing it's their brush eyeshadow brush which I love I also love the brush that came with the Urban Decay. I have the Urban Decay Naked 2 kit, and I also have the Too Faced Natural Eyes. Those are all my favorite kits. And then this one. Um, but I really use this one the most, so this has been the most worth it. Um, but I'll put like kind of this neutrally first kiss color. I don't know how well you can see that, because I turned my little light off because it was too bright. Um, put it over my eyelids, and I just realized as I'm doing this, I forgot to put my primer on. Dang it. See? This is what happens. I don't do the same makeup every day, but I use this Urban Decay eyeshadow setting primer because my eyeshadow moves like crazy. Um, so yeah, I probably shouldn't put it over my eyeshadow, but I do want it on, so I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't love the applicator with this. That's the only thing I can't stand. Like the sample one I got years ago was like a little like tube that you like squeeze, like kind of like toothpaste, and it was amazing, but this applicator sucks. Sometimes I'll even put a little bit under here because it'll help hold my eyeliner in place too. Um, so put more. You're probably supposed to use the brush, but I like it's just easier to get it where I need it with my finger. So I'm gonna put a little bit underneath to hold my eyeliner in place, not eyeshadow. I mean that too, but and yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, okay, back to the eyeshadow. Put my eyeshadow right here. I used to only ever do eyeshadow like this, like that was it and I was done. I finally learned to do a little more with it to give my eyes a little more dimension. So I'll put that color there across my eyelids. And then I will take like um, one of the two darker colors. So I'll take BFF or Heartbreaker. And I think I'm probably going to do Heartbreaker. And I'll put it a little bit on the corner and then blend up and blend 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 like everybody says that but it's so true but I'm taking it higher than I used to and so I don't want to be like crazy I also want to extend my eye out because my eyeliner is gonna go out. it's not gonna stay that crazy I promise it kind of looks a little crazier in the camera than it does in the actual mirror 
but so okay so it's a little crazy right now I get that but it won't look so crazy in a minute I also will take and I can do this with this other side of this brush I'll take a little bit of the dark and put it I gotta use my mirror for this put it underneath just to extend the eyeliner color Sometimes eyeshadow almost works better as eyeliner than eyeliner does. It like stays more. I used to use black eyeshadow as a black eyeliner and then I would like, or I would set my eyeliner with black eyeshadow and man it stayed. Um, so I'm going to fix this. It's not going to stay like this. Usually I will just rub a little bit of this in to kind of blend a little bit. Ooh, that eyeliner went a little crazy there. Um, I also have two very different shaped eyes, so this eye always looks perfect because it like slants up. This eye actually slants down a little bit, so like I can't do winged eyeliner. I have tried, Sephora and Ulta have tried for me. They're like, we don't know. So, um, that's as far there. Then I will usually go to, so then for eyeshadow, or eyeliner, I usually like these Smashbox Always On Gel Liners. I've been using brown a lot lately, but I also have a black one. I think I'm gonna use black today. Sometimes it's like a little more dramatic, so. I need to sharpen that, so let me sharpen it real quick because that was really dull. Um, and if I really want my makeup to like pop, I will do my lower waterline because I feel like it makes my eyes stand out more. This is looking so dramatic in my camera because the lighting's just a little weird in there. I'll turn the light back on in a minute so you can see what it looks like. I thought this was going to be easier to show you all and it's really not. I think it's just because I don't have good lighting right here because I'm like at my makeup desk. It's ironic because it's probably where I should have good lighting but I don't. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm probably gonna put brown on top to not be so dramatic. Um, if I'm gonna be like, I, I prefer to have black on the bottom and then just have a little bit, and I don't go all the way across usually. Sometimes I will, but usually I'll just do like a slight eyeliner that comes in just part way. Cause it leaves my eyes looking a little more big and open. If I go all the way to the like inner creases here, it just makes my eyes look even smaller. So I don't want that. So. Uh, we got that. Let me turn this back on to see if that gives you an idea. I don't know if that's really helping. It's a little ring light on my phone, but, um, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And then this is a little angular for me. Um, but what I'll do now is I actually love doing this. So this is NYX NYX. Um, they have a metallic eyeliner in rose gold. And it just adds so much. If I put it just in the corners of my eyes, it like really pops. So I almost wear this like every day. I mean, y'all know I love rose gold anyway, but like this is some amazing, amazing eyeliner. So, and then we do the mascara. And I like the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, but the other good one is the similar L'Oreal Lash Blast Mascara, which my only issue with that one is I feel like it clumps my lashes a little more and it dries out really fast. So even though it's cheaper, in the long run, I think I was using more of it because it was drying out so fast. I really hope my makeup's turning out well. I mean, I can kind of see it in the mirror behind me. And I will put it on my lower lashes as well, just because, again, it makes your eyes pop more. I don't wear this much makeup all the time, although lately I have been because I've been trying not to do as much with my hair because I don't want to fry it. So I feel like if I'm not doing as much with my hair, I need to at least really try on my makeup so that I don't look like I'm just not trying at all, <laughs> especially for work. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'll turn this off and see if I can go buy some, go buy some natural light so you can see. This is really hard to do. Like, where do you get natural light in here? Oh, there we go. Okay. So you can kind of see. Eyeliner. Oh, lip stuff. Duh. Guys, that is important. Oh my gosh. I forgot. 
my grandpa always said, like, if you don't, if you forget one thing, don't let it be lipstick because you look like a dead fish. So <laughs> my favorite, and this does dry out, dry me out a little bit, is the Bare Minerals Boss. It's the matte um, liquid lipstick, but I love it. So it goes on a little darker than it ends up looking because it blends, but I use it as lip liner too. You always want to line your lips because if you don't, my lips are very plain, like they're not very shapely, but if I line up here, instantly gives it a little bit more. Now we're ready. So let me see if I can show you. So much better. Hopefully this was helpful. I don't know. <laughs> Dang it, I keep forgetting things. Okay, I didn't put my setting stuff on, so I'm really bad at this, guys. This is why I don't normally do this. I like using this. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Mario Bedescu Skincare Facial Spray? I don't know. Or mostly I use Urban Decay All Nighter, um, which is probably what I'll use right now because... I always feel like this is making my mascara water, but it's not. But wait a few, like wait a minute before you put this on if you <laughs> just put your mascara on because it will. <laughs> I learned that. Um, so yeah, now I gotta go fix my hair, but that's my makeup. <laughs>